A project by a local school has gone global. St. Andrews Elementary launched a small boat out to sea last year, and you'll never guess where it ended up. News News' Travis Rice has this seaworthy tale. Boat. So their school is on a boat. Well, look what they found. For Amy McMahon, holding the attention of fourth graders is a craft. We were lucky. And she's good at it. Math. Math. These kids are mystified by her latest lesson, which takes them across the Atlantic. I want to hear from Katie. Hold on. This boat. And this boat paint. The Carolina Dreamer. Super duper boat paint. So all the information that's we call pinged um, on the boat and, and transmitted through satellite goes to NOAA and we're helping NOAA. St. Andrews Math and Science launched the vessel last May to study currents and just expected it to land in Florida. But a rogue left turn took the dreamer on a 4,000 mile journey through the open ocean. Say, look, it's a, it's a pirate boat. Helen Hinks was walking the beach in Wales with her three year old son. It just literally sailed in on the waves right to where we were standing. It was really magical. On the shores of Borth, the boat was missing its lid and all the contents students had placed inside. There wasn't any contact information and things then. Helen initially put her in the garage and said, what do I do with this boat? Fortunately, a local harbor master told the town paper about the boat. We were very lucky. It almost felt like to me when NASA, um, when we landed on the moon and down in NASA, that the team's going like this because that, this team was frantically searching for that boat. McMahon's student's favorite okay. subject for the time being, and where's Wales? geography. Right there. Right there. Right there. McMahon and her students are teaming up with the school in Wales to rebuild the boat and launch it back to Charleston, ocean current permitting, of course. Reporting in studio, Travis Rice, News 2.